Hey guys, it's Jessie V and ta-da! We have a new background today. This one really reminds me of Sailor Moon. I don't know why, it could be the pink, could be the city with like the moon right behind me and the clouds. It just gives me major Sailor Moon vibes and I love it. I really wish you guys could see more of the city behind me. It's just the background falls so low to the ground you can't see all of it, but there's like more city beneath me, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I think it's super cute, I love it. And because we're moving on to a new background, that means I'm going to be announcing the winner for the last one. So the Dreamcatcher won this one. Hold on. I mean, you guys probably remember anyway. <laughs> but for this, this magical one, the winner is the username Ginny Weasley. Imagine if it was a real Ginny Weasley. That'd be so cool. Oh my gosh. But no, her YouTube name is Ginny Weasley. I have reached out to her on Instagram. Congratulations, girl. Make sure when you put this up, you don't put it upside down because I made that mistake myself. <laughs> but if you want to win this background behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to Jessie V, so this channel right here, and also go subscribe to my other channel called V Vlogs. So just be subscribed to those two channels and go comment on the recent V Vlogs video titled My Grandma's Collection of Dolls and comment which doll is your favorite. So three steps, and that's how you will be entered for this Sailor Mooney cool pinky background by me. <laughs> I don't know why I keep making that weird accent with my voice. Anyways though, I am super excited for today's video because we all grew up on Happy Meals. If you don't know what a Happy Meal is, I have you lived? Ever since I was like one years old, I would always beg my parents to take me to McDonald's so I can get a Happy Meal. And I feel like I was more excited about the actual toy than the food I was getting, you know what I mean? But don't get me wrong, I loved my chicken nuggets and I loved my cheeseburgers. And I always made my dad order me a cheeseburger with only ketchup on it. I didn't like the pickles, I didn't like the onions, I didn't like the mustard. I only wanted cheese and ketchup on my cheese. Cheeseburger. Was anybody else like that or was it just me? Because whenever I told my friends as a kid, they'd be like, Wow, you're so plain. You don't like pickles or mustard or onions on your cheeseburger. That's so boring. But like, that's how I liked it. And honestly, today, I still order my cheeseburgers like that. So anyways, though, McDonald's has been around for a very, very long time. And because of that, there have been some very weird and creepy Happy Meal toys that we're going to be, sh I'm going to be showing them to you today. And we're going to be talking about them. If you guys remember any of these Happy Meal toys, definitely let me know. But I think most of them are more on the vintage older side. Like some are even older than me, okay? But it's funny because there are like a handful of these that I did have as a kid, so. And it's weird because you don't realize how weird they are when you're a child. When you grow up, you're like, hey, that shouldn't have been a toy, so. Okay, so the very first one I'm gonna show you isn't so much creepy as it is weird. <laughs> I'm gonna move to the side a bit so you can see what I'm trying to show you, okay. So these were called Food Fundamentals. So capital F-U-N, Fundamentals. These were back in the early 1990s and McDonald's thought that instead of simply putting fruit in the Happy Meals, they would make fruit and vegetable toys that had these big googly eyes, big smiles. They basically tried to make fruit and veggies look human. <laughs> okay. There was a milk carton named Milky. Creative there, huh? A winking apple named Ruby. A helmet wearing wheat bread sandwich named Otis. And an ear of corn named Duncan. And then not only would you get these weird healthy looking face people, you would also get a pamphlet on how to eat healthy. Which tons of people found weird because here you are at McDonald's. It's not a healthy place. You know, cheeseburgers, fries, McNuggets. And here they are telling you, you should be eating healthy, but they don't provide healthy food. So people were like, that's a little bit strange. Why would McDonald's use food they don't actually sell? But anyways, that's just my kind of rant about it. The next one is super creepy and weird and like who even thought about this? They had something called the Tickle Feather. It was released in Happy Meals in 1982, so it's a pretty old Tickle Feather. It's actually really hard to even find pictures of this. It was this piece of foam in the shape of a feather and the goal was to just like go around tickling your friends with it. But people thought this was like like too strange of a concept. It kind of invaded people's personal space, if you know what I mean. So they got rid of it pretty quickly. But like the tickle feather, oh my goodness, no. This next one I remember because I got a bunch of these back in my Happy Meals when I was like, I don't know, five years old or something. This is called the Ronald McDonald Glove Puppet. Please let me know if you remember this. Ronald McDonald was actually featured on a ton of kids toys and just products in general, obviously. He's like the mascot of McDonald's. But he 
he's sort of creepy. Like, kids don't often love to look at Ronald McDonald, you know what I mean? <laughs> so what was so odd for kids to receive was the Ronald McDonald hand puppet. Parents didn't really like this toy, not because of how creepy it looked, but because it was kind of a safety hazard. You know, giving kids a plastic bag is never really a good idea. So parents were complaining, nobody was happy about this, and eventually it was just, they got rid of it. Like, who thought it would be a good idea to give kids plastic bags? No, that's never a good idea. These next toys I had, I collected, I think I had like eight of them. They're called the Madame Alexander dolls. I think they might still give these out every so often, but I hear these are selling for so much money now, so if only I kept mine. I'm pretty sure I sold them at a garage sale for like five cents, so regrets. But yeah, these creepy little dolls are really sought after by adult collectors, and some kids didn't like these because they kind of looked like something you'd find in like your grandma's curio cabinet. Very vintage looking. Not something kids could really play with, you know what I mean? And all the dolls are kind of creepy in their own way. I mean, I personally think they look really awesome, but there was one doll in particular that people really freaked out about. It was a doll from 2010, and especially when you see it in the packaging, it looks terrifying. The doll is called Wendy as the Big Bad Wolf. Love you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. You actually have a recording right now? Yes, I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> People said this doll looked like a little girl trying to play Frank the Bunny from Donnie Darko. I think that's his name. But yeah, whenever kids got this toy, they would just get rid of it right away because it's this kind of creepy. But if anybody still has these dolls from like way back when, these are selling for some good money now, so in case you're wondering. The next thing is the Ronald McDonald mask. Once again, McDonald thought it would be a great idea to just put him on kids' toys. <sighs> This mask is kind of a creepy sight to see, and especially because, like I said, a lot of kids are afraid of clowns. They were not happy to see this in their Happy Meal. This was in Happy Meals in 1974, so quite a while ago, and not only were kids upset because he was kind of scary looking, they were also upset because technically he wasn't really a toy. He was a piece of cardboard, so kids were like, yo, I want my toy, like what is this? The next thing is the underwater monsters, which I kind of think they're cool. Is that weird of me to think they're cool? As you guys know, McDonald's really likes to collect collab with movies, especially Disney movies, to come out with toys like Mulan, Cars, Despicable Me, like the movies go on and on and on and on. But what's weird is that these underwater monsters, I don't think they related to any movie. I think they were just completely random. They came out in 1979 and apparently if you still have these toys as well, they're also selling for a lot of money. It's weird how when so much time passes, people start just like paying so much for things like Happy Meal toys, like what? This next thing is the Halloween nugget which they're honestly kind of cute, but I get why people would be kind of unsettled by them. Because if you think about it, you order like a meal of chicken McNuggets and you're eating them, and then you get a McNugget toy that has a face and it's smiling, and you feel bad about eating the McNuggets because you have one that has a face. <laughs> Does that make sense? Anyways, these came out in 1988, probably around Halloween, I'm assuming. And yeah, I don't know, I think they're kind of cute. Then we have the Ronald McDonald sunglasses. We just can't escape him, can we? It doesn't say what year these came out, but they're so creepy because you have these sunglasses on and Ronald is like right on your forehead, like staring at people. And like, I guess it's like a good collector's item, but I feel like if you're wearing these and you're talking to somebody in public, they're just gonna like run away from you. You know what I mean? And then lastly, we have the toys called Weird Writers, which creep people out, but I kind of wish I got these because they're kind of cool looking. I think these came out in 1993. <coughs> My throat. Dying. And they're basically like monster shaped markers, which are so cool. I wonder if they actually worked okay though. You know when you get like cheap toys and like the markers just never work no matter what you do. <laughs> but like these are kind of cool to like collect. Imagine having a whole set of these like creepy monster markers. That'd be so cool. Anyways though guys, those are all the weird ones that I was able to find. Obviously there's probably tons because like every other month McDonald's comes out with a new toy. So like over the years, man, there's a huge collection of them. Let me know if you remember any of these toys and yeah, don't forget if you want to enter to win this backdrop, subscribe here, subscribe on Vlogs, and go comment on the doll video. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!